I'd like to hear Dr. Grant speak more about his weight loss journey. <laughs> so that that's a good question. That started um, my last year of residency, uh, I think 2015 at the beginning. So like August 1st or something. And I was 240 pounds You know, I was getting married almost a year later. Uh, my wife left to go to fellowship. So I was like, OK, I'm going to take this year. I've got to get this fat off because I was just I was looking terrible, feeling terrible. I'd really let myself go. So started with just traditional calorie cutting, um, reducing portion size and, and rode that out for probably the first four or five months really well. At that point, I kind of hit some stalls. And so I was like, OK, I've got to I've got to get lean. I just have to because I was looking you know, I'd gone from 240 to 210, you know, maybe 215, but it wasn't where I wanted to be. You know, I wanted to see my abs, right? Never had in my life, really, since maybe one time in ninth grade. Um, so I bought a food scale and I started tracking everything I ate, everything, and planned my meals out ahead of time, tracked them, weighed them, put everything in my fitness pal. And I would, I just, it was remarkable how the weight start, kept falling off. Basically, after I diet from I do like an eight week diet and then I take a week off and do a maintenance. So a week to 10 days, do a deload at the same time, then jump right back into the diet. And I mean, it just kept going. And so that's I think I learned a lot that year because I started looking into like Renaissance periodization. Mike Israel, they would start talking a lot about diet breaks and all these things. And it just worked, you know, but the key and I tell this to people now is just you have to know what you're putting in your body. People are wrong if you're guessing you're wrong. It's just the way it is. Um, you, you know, and cause I used to estimate in college and I'd do, Oh yeah, that looks about like one serving of peanut butter. If I had weighed that, it would have probably been four servings of peanut butter. Um, and so you, the key with me and with most people I see that are successful at getting to a fairly lean level is you do need to track at some point in your life. Does that mean you have to track forever? No, I stay, I mean, I'm fatter now than I was then. I'm probably 15% body fat right now just cause holiday time and I'm, I'm enjoying food. Right. But I know my cutoff. I know where I'm comfortable and then I know how to get back where I was. Now I can do a six week mini cut and drop 10 pounds easy of pure mm -hmm. fat and maintain muscle because I'm on TRT and I know how to work out and I, I get back to where I want to be. And then I just slowly go back up over time. And, and so I don't restrict myself like I used to, but it was valuable during that time period to do that so that now I can appreciate food better and I know my limits and I know how to get it off if I need to. So I think tracking meticulously, at least for a little while, it, it, it improves that motivation factor. When you start seeing the fat drop off and see your body composition change, it's more motivation to keep doing that. Um, so you know, everybody wants a shortcut these days. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these peptides absolutely work, but they don't work for the reasons people think they do. They work because they keep your belly, your stomach full from emptying and you're not hungry, which just proves the point that eating less food actually works. So why not just eat less food and teach yourself better nutrition habits? That's my opinion.